not be able to play that first time down there in San Diego. I heard a lot just being on the sidelines and just not being able to help my teammates at all out there. And um, but I'm I'm hungrier than ever just being out there, uh, being able to go back out there and and help my teammates this time. You obviously, you know, rarely are 100 percent. I mean, was there literally zero percent chance you could have played in that game? I, mean, I assume if you could have walked out there with one leg, you would have tried. Oh yeah, there was zero percent chance I could play. Um, I was in a boot. I was in a walking boot. I could barely walk and crutches the day before, right after the Air Force game. So, um, like you said, if I if I could have been out there, I would have played. Um, but there was just no chance I could have been out there. So. And then you're sitting there, you're seeing some of the issues getting the ball across half court and the crowd. I mean, I'm sure you felt like you could have made a difference. I mean, did that make it mm -hmm. tougher than any other game where you just where you can't be out there helping? Man, that was probably one of the toughest moments of of this season, to be honest with you. Just watching my teammates go through that, being without their their lead guard, and um, yeah, it was just, it was just a tough one to watch. You didn't play. You know, Naj wasn't 100. percent right. Tyson's pretty much foul trouble the whole game. You know, uh -huh. how, how different of a team are they going to see tomorrow? A completely different team. Um, a hungrier team. Um, I don't know if they're going to be hungry because they already got the the trophy. They already celebrated, but it doesn't change our mindset at all. We're coming in there to compete and uh, just get that game back for us. So. Was it, is it you know, still tough to put Saturday behind you, whether it be your guys lost then seeing them win, mm -hmm. or knowing that you still have a lot to play for and what tomorrow's win would still do for you for the you know, big tournament and stuff? Does it still make it pretty easy to get amped up for tomorrow? Oh, yeah, for sure, especially because it's our seniors' last games, our last game in this arena. Um, it's going to be emotional for us, but we, we can't let that affect the, the big picture, which is getting past this game and getting that dub. And, uh, just our future games as well and our NCAA tournament chance hope so yeah what would you know what would it mean to you to, to have go out the right way and get to that get back to the dance and win, win that first game in program history and come I mean, there's still a lot to I know you guys wanted the back-to-back -back -back titles but I mean is there still a lot to play for obviously oh yeah for sure um, like you said we want to get to the big dance um, obviously win the Mountain West tournament um, as well and that's that's the main goal is win the tournament but um, we obviously want to, our seniors, I mean, our whole team want to go to the, the big dance and uh, just win that first game for this program and uh, just, leave an, uh, just leave an impact on this, on this, on this team. Uh, so yeah. How are you feeling physically? Um, I feel good. Yeah. Um, a little banged up, but I mean, I've been banged up the whole season, so I'll be I'll be good to go tomorrow. I, I tweeted it, but it was a miracle. I, mean, I don't know if the refs didn't get the memo or what, but you got like three calls in the last game at the rim. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was shocked to get that many calls, um, but it felt good. It felt good. Um, just being able to shoot that many free throws and uh, just get awarded for for just sacrificing my body. And uh, yeah, it just felt good. Were you guys just did you guys just kind of run out of gas? Did the lack of depth kind of catch up to you, or what? At the end of that game, or you guys just couldn't buy a bucket and you know, couldn't get a rebound? I mean, what, what just went, what went wrong there at the end of that game? Yeah, we just couldn't board for nothing. Um, that old that last old board really killed us. Um, yeah, it's just just those little things, just not being able to old board. And um, I mean, we watched film on it. We know what we need to correct, and like Coach says. Our issues are our issues, and we'll we'll fix them. So, what has this last four years, whatever it's been like in Boise, meant to you? Um, it's been amazing, man. Um, just as soon as I stepped foot in, in Boise after my commitment, um, I said it in my in my senior speech. Like God brought me back here for a reason, and. It's been a wonderful journey here at Boise State, and I'm just so grateful for just everybody in this program, the fan base, the coaches, my teammates, just everybody in this community, just welcoming me and my family with open arms, and um, just coach for believing in me, being able to make an impact on this program just means a lot. I don't remember exactly how it went down, but I know you were looking at Boise State out of high school, right? Yeah. Who, who, did they get somebody first that yeah. led you to go to Portland, or did you go there first, and then, then they got somebody, or what was what kind of led you to Portland the first time? What led me to Portland was just... Uh, or I guess not to Boise State the first time. What led me to Portland was um, just being coached by an NBA, former NBA uh, point guard, um, Terry Porter. Yep. And um, 
I respect him a lot, and um, I'm just happy that God brought me back to here at Boise State, and Coach Rice came back and recruited me again after being in the transfer portal. So. Was that when Paris Austin left? Yeah, like Paris. Paris did left. Yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, what? You know, ten years from now, when people are looking at a old roster from this year's team, or they're looking at a your book, or they see a photo of you, what do you hope mm -hmm. down the line fans think about you when they think back to your career here, what you brought to the team? <laughs> that he was a warrior, and he just left it all out there on the court every night, and um, he was a winner, and maybe one of the the best players in Bronco history. What, what does if you do hear that, or that's yeah. what it is? What would obviously what would that mean to you to have people uh, see him that way? It would mean a lot, and um, just that my time here really really made an impact on uh, the fans and just this program, and um, yeah, just that. How many uh, friends and family do you have? Um, not too much, just like twenty coming in. Um, what has it meant? I, I end up usually being on the same flight as your mom a lot, and I know yeah. they're early in the morning, and then you're driving to Laramie, and it's not easy, and I don't know what she does for work or what, but what, uh -huh. what does it mean to have your, your family, and particularly your mom, kind of doing everything she does to be at all these games and stuff? Oh, uh, it means a lot. Um, I'm the only child, and um, it's just so important having that support system around you, and um, it just, man, I'm just so grateful to have my mom in my life and my, my stepdad. Uh, just to make those sacrifices to make as many games as they can. My mom, I think she missed like one game this year. She missed this last game because honestly, I didn't know if I was going to play or not. And um, but I'm just so grateful to have them in my life for sure. Oh, the San Jose game. Yeah. Oh wow, what were we dealing with? Uh, my ribs from the last oh, game. That's right. Yeah. You gotta get a bingo card or something. Yeah, something yeah, for <laughs> real. Has that been frustrating that you just haven't, you haven't been able to have the the fully healthy 100 percent? You know, last year here that you were looking for. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely frustrating, just an injury after injury. But I mean, it just comes with the game at the end of the day, and um, I just can't let that affect my mindset or or my team, and um, just. Pouring into my teammates and um, just doing what I can do to help my team win. What would tomorrow mean? Did you get a, your final home game to, to beat a ranked team? And, yeah. and uh, what that would mean to you? It's going to be a, uh, probably one of the biggest crowds of your career uh, tomorrow. It's almost sold out. I mean, what, what, uh, I guess, how do you not get too over amped for tomorrow? But what would it mean to you if you guys could play well and get a win tomorrow? Oh, it mean a lot. Like you said, they're a ranked team, a really good team. Um, they're coming off a big, big win. And, um, Obviously, I don't want to end my career here in this arena with a loss. So just finishing on a dub in this arena would mean mean a lot for us and these seniors. So. And, I, and final thing, I kind of asked you this, but but if you are able to win the Mountain West tournament or, or get that first win in the tournament history, what would you know? What would that do, I guess, for your legacy or just for your time? Or if you're able, the way you want to finish this thing, how, bad, how badly do you want to finish it? You know, in historic historic style here. Oh man, I want it bad. Like you said, I'm. Just getting that, like last year, that NCAA tournament game, just ending the season like that, it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth, you know what I mean? It was tough to get over that. I mean, honestly, I didn't, I didn't leave my room for, for a minute, and um, I can't end my career here at Boise State like that again. And um, I'm just, I can't wait to, I mean, I'm not, we have to get past this tournament first, obviously, but, um, I don't want to end my season on a on a bad loss like that, and I just want to finish on a dub and um, just win that first tournament game for this program. It'll mean a lot to to me and these seniors and this this program. So.